Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to SL Prem. Yes, I'm back. It's been a while. Finally got the new PC set up. And today, we're going to be reviewing Android 11 Beta 1. I'm just going to go over some changes. I'm not going to go over every change, but I'm going to show you the main biggest ones. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first feature I want to talk about is the notification history. Before, you can't click on your recently dismissed notifications. And now you can. As you can see, I can click on this notification and summer work opportunity. And yeah, I already got a job, so I can just dismiss that. And number two, if you didn't notice, there's actually new animations on the home screen. So if I swipe up, as you can see, the wallpaper just goes zooms in and out. And same thing with pulling down the notification shade. As you can see, the background pushes away. And of course, number four, new icon shapes. So there's already been a ton of these and all of them are kind of funky. So let me show you the new ones. All right, next, next, next. And yeah, there's circle, this color or not color, shape, this shape, this shape, this shape, and this shape. So yeah, those are the new icon shapes. And number five, there's actually home screen suggestions. So these would be your recommended apps at the very bottom. It replaces the docked icons. So all of them that I used to have on there actually got pushed up to here. So before it used to be phone, messages, Play Store, Chrome, and Clock. And now it's Google Play Music, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, those are your recommended apps. And number six, I'm not sure if this is a feature or whatever, but in these settings, it's actually redesigned. There's more colors and yeah, as you can see, the icons are slightly different than the previous build. And number seven, actually it might be number six. I've been counting wrong all along. But anyways, you can actually control your home devices and whatever from just holding down the power button. As you can see, it's redesigned. This whole screen is different. I can turn off my lights on and on by dragging, whatever, pay, pay with Google Pay, and the screenshot button is gone. I don't know where it went, but it's gone. So I guess this is meant to be replaced by over here instead of in the power menu. I don't know. I liked it back in the old spot because now you can't take a screenshot at certain spots. You can only take screenshots of apps. So that's a bit annoying and hopefully they add that back. And number eight is you may have noticed the brand new media controls. So they look, okay, they're gone. But anyways, the notification got shrunk down. So now there's only two rows of icons. And let me just play a random song real quick. All right, so now I'm playing the song and as you can see, it shows up like this in the top corner. And honestly, I kind of like this. It looks pretty chill. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. And with this new feature, there's actually a button over here where you can select different audio devices. So you can add more uh, Bluetooth speaker or whatever, but basically you can just you can just switch back and forth. And that's about it. So that's all the new changes I found so far. And of course, it's more fluid and, and all that. And if you're looking for a speed test, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do Android 10 speed test versus beta one pretty soon. And also make sure you guys leave a comment, like, and of course, see you guys later. Peace.